I've built multiple successful dropshipping stores over the past seven years, and I've helped many beginners do the same exact thing. And while I've certainly seen people who have struggled and given up with it, I've also seen a lot of others who have persevered and gone on to massive success. So I went ahead and I asked some of my most successful dropshipping students what they wish they would have known before they started dropshipping. And based on their feedback, I put together a list of the top things that every dropshipper needs to know about before they get started if they actually want to be successful. So if you're looking to start a dropshipping store this year, then this may end up being the most important video you end up watching. Over the past several years, we've seen only a handful of websites really dominate the e-commerce space. I'm talking about websites like Amazon or eBay or Etsy and even Facebook Marketplace. These websites that people are used to shopping on and feel safe shopping on are the ones that really dominate. Unfortunately, this means that dropshipping products on your own website has become a lot more difficult. You've probably heard about this before. You've probably heard about something like Shopify dropshipping. And while I know many people who have made a lot of money with Shopify in the past, I've also talked to a lot more people who have failed at Shopify dropshipping, which really doesn't surprise me. Not only is it really hard to get customers to actually find your website, but it's just as hard to get them to trust it enough to actually buy something from you. If you sell on a marketplace, on the other hand, you can sell to existing customers that are already here ready to buy some items. If you're a beginner, you should start by dropshipping on a marketplace like eBay or Facebook Marketplace. And honestly, if you're brand new, all of my top students agree that eBay is the best and easiest place to start. Which brings me to the next point, paid ads. Social media platforms have changed dramatically over the past few years. It's so easy now to go onto Facebook or Instagram or TikTok and really to get lost for hours watching videos. This has really helped these companies grow bigger and bigger, which allows them to charge more money for anyone who wants to run ads to their customers. Unless you have a lot of money to spare, it has become very difficult to use paid ads on these websites that actually work and are affordable, which is why for us small sellers, paid ads on these websites just aren't realistic anymore. But that's okay, because when you sell on a marketplace like I talked about before, there are already a ton of customers there ready to spend money. You don't need to pay for ads. As a new dropshipper, the easiest way to get sales is to go where the customers already are and to just forget about paid ads. Okay, but if you're not using paid ads, how do you actually get customers to find and buy your products? Well, this really comes down to two important things. The first thing is that you need to learn how to find the best products to dropship onto eBay. And after speaking with my students, we all agree that the best way to do product research is with this software called Zeek. This is designed by eBay dropshippers for eBay dropshippers and helps you find these winning products. So what I always do whenever I log in is I first come to the dashboard here and I quickly look at this trending eBay product section because a lot of times they'll show you some winning products right here that you can sell. You don't have to do any extra work. So I'm able to see that these windshield wipers that are being drop shipped from Walmart onto eBay have sold several times, 22 times in total, for a $9 profit. So I can click on this, I can go to the product on Walmart and either sell the same one or something very similar. And every time it sells, I'm going to make about $9. Now that doesn't sound like a lot of money, but you have to remember that all you have to do is list this product once and it will sell over and over and over again. This person sold it 22 times, all without having to do extra work. So you get enough of these products in your store and this really adds up on a month to month basis. Here's another one right here. This is sold 10 times for about $8.45 profit. So it's always worth it to just look here real quickly when you first log in. But I also like to look over here on the left at the trending drop shippers section. This is where Zeke actually finds for you other people that are drop shipping onto eBay. And you can go ahead and look at how well they're doing and actually look at the exact products that they're selling. So we see some sellers here, like this one has done $60,000 in sales in the past month. This one has done 50,000. So this is definitely working. Drop shipping is definitely alive and well for these sellers. Let's go ahead and actually scan one of their stores. So I'll go ahead and scan this seller's store. And this will look at all the products that they're selling and tell us which ones are doing the best. So I see this car dent repair kit 
has sold 517 times in total. So that is definitely a winning product. And what I could then do is go over to my supplier's website, find the same thing or something similar, and I can sell this because I know that this product does well. Here's another one right here. It's like these insoles for boots. These have sold 189 times in total. So using this software and these techniques, you're gonna be able to find a lot of these massively winning products that are selling dozens and dozens of times every single month. Now, product research, this is definitely the most important part of dropshipping that you need to master if you want to have a successful store. That's why I spend so much time on it inside my eBay dropshipping program. If you want to join it and join my most successful students who have gone through it themselves, then make sure to click the first link in the description down below to find out some more information about it and to join if you're interested. Of course, it's not enough to just have the right products. You also need to list them correctly and to optimize them. And the consensus among my students is that the best way to do that is with this software right here. It's called AutoDS. And once you get it set up, it is so easy to use. So let's say I wanted to list this product right here onto eBay. It's this suction dent puller for cars. You know, we saw before on Zeke that products like this do sell very well. All I wanna do is copy down the URL from up here, and then I'll come over to AutoDS and I'll click up here where it says add product, single product, and I'll paste in that URL. Now I'll click this orange button. That's going to pull in all of the information from, e sorry, from Amazon and get it ready to be listed on eBay. So we can see here that it pulled in the title, it chose a category for us, it automatically added tags, it automatically created a shipping policy based on how long it would take. Here we see the description that it pulled in, made it look really nice. We have all the different variations. That means, let's say this was available in different colors, for instance, or different sizes. All those options would be available in here. We could actually list it with all of those. We also see all the images and the item specifics that are automatically generated. So a lot of the heavy lifting is done for us. We don't have to manually copy and paste everything from Amazon onto eBay anymore because this is doing it for us. So what I first do is I come to the images and I like to make sure that all these images work. There's nothing here that I want to delete. And I also make sure that the main image is one that I actually like. A lot of times I'll end up choosing a different main image, like maybe I would select this one or this one is instead. That way my listing looks different from other people who are listing the same product. But in this case, I don't really see another great main image. Maybe I would select this one right here because this is demonstrating how the product works. So I think that would actually be a good main image. You can see that it, it changed up here. So that's now what my listing will look like on the search results page. So I spend just a couple of seconds doing that. And then I come to this section right here and I will change up this title. I like to optimize this to make it better for eBay. eBay fundamentally is a search engine. So you can type something in here like dent remover and it's going to show you a whole bunch of different results. So what you wanna do is you wanna get as high up in the search results as possible. And the best way to do that is with this optimization. You want your title to be full of keywords that people are actually going to be searching for when they are looking for this item. There's a very easy way to do this because if you come over to Zeke and you click on the left on Title Builder, this will give you all the information that you need. So I'm going to type in here dent remover and I'll click on search. And this will tell you, hey, when people search for dent remover, they also search for these other words as well. And so you wanna take as many of these words and include them in your title. So we can see on the left here are more of the multi-word searches. And on the right here are the single words. And anytime you click on any of these, it will actually add it up here. So we see dent remover up here. So what I wanna do is I wanna fill this up as much as possible with these really good keywords that people are actually searching for. So we see car body dent, I'll include that, but I will remove the, the word dent because we've already used that. Puller, so let's actually come over here and find the word puller and edit. We have the word repair is not in there, so I'll click on repair. Let me zoom out for you. 
I'll put the word tool, right? All these words are well searched for. We can see that over here, how many times they're searched for. And I wanna add as many of these as possible. So hail, we can include that. We can include suction. We can include removal and panel ding. There we go. So there we go. We just filled this up. And what I'll now do is just rearrange this to make this just a little bit easier to read, right? Okay, so that's that's basically it, not too overcomplicated. Again, only the first few words really have to describe what this is. This is a car dent remover. And then I, I just include the other keywords, hail, body repair, suction puller, tool, ding, removal, panel. Okay, once I'm done with that, I can click on copy here. Then coming back over here to AutoDS, I'll paste that in. And now if I click on save and import, that item will now be live in my eBay store. And the best part is because I listed this product with AutoDS, if the price fluctuates on eBay, if it goes up or down, AutoDS will automatically change the price on eBay for me. And if the item goes out of stock on Amazon, it will automatically put the item out of stock in my eBay store. That way I actually make a profit every time I sell the item and I don't accidentally sell an item that's actually out of stock. You can even set up AutoDS to automatically order items for you as orders come in on eBay. Now, one of the most overlooked keys to success when it comes to dropshipping is your mindset. Look, starting an online business is hard. There's no getting around that. It's going to feel slow sometimes. You're gonna feel like you're running into a lot of hurdles along the way. But if you don't believe in yourself, then when you hit those obstacles, you're gonna give up. And unfortunately, I see this happen to people all the time. So you really need to approach this with everything you've got. You've got to believe that you're going to be successful with this, or at least that you could be successful with this. That way you actually go for it 100%. Let's look at it another way. We know that other people have been successful with dropshipping. I have shown you their results already. Now, these are all ordinary, regular people just like you. And I'm sure many of them had a lot of doubts about whether they could do this successfully when they first started, but they took action anyway. And that's what got them all the results that they've gotten. Because without action, failure is guaranteed. So if you want 2024 to be your year, then you need to get yourself in the right headspace and take massive action every single day. And that starts with right now.